the basic terms of the accounting okay so for the solution for the solution of the problems okay so in the accounting we have we have to solve the problems okay so for the sol sol solution of the problems we should know the basic terms or you can say the basic terminology of accounting okay so now see there are so many so many basic terms are there so, okay lots of basic terms are there in the accounting okay so we will see one by one okay so first one is a what entity okay first one is a what entity so what am i entity just see it means an area of economic interest of a particular industry or group of industries okay so entity means what it is one of the particular industry or group of industry it means what definitely it having the physical existence is nothing but what entity okay for example just like the reliance mall it has the physical existence okay so big bazaar okay or the kalyan dwellers okay so like this whatever the physical existence is okay so it is exact exact what the definite whatever the physical existence is there what is the industry or a particular industry or a group of industry is nothing but what the entity okay so next business transaction okay so now see what is my business transaction an event which involves exchange of value between two or more entities is transaction it can be purchased the stationery receipts of money incurring expenses etc it can be cash or credit transactions okay so now see what am i business transactions business transactions means what the exchange of monies or monies worth okay monies or the monies worth between the two entities okay between the two entities means what between the two businesses or between the two enterprises okay so it or you can say the business the transactions between the what exchange between the monies or monies worth between the business and its customer is nothing but what the business transactions but it should be exchange the money or money's worth okay it should be exchange the money or money's worth okay so is nothing about the business transactions okay and in the business there are so many transactions are taking place at a day okay at one day okay so there are so many transactions means what there are lakhs as well as the crores transactions are taking place they are selling purchasing credit transactions sell the credit transactions cash transactions like this there are so many transactions are taking place in the business okay so now there are two types of the transactions okay so now which are those two types of the transactions cash transactions and the credit transactions okay so now see what in my cash transactions when business purchases goods what when business per, when business purchases goods as well as services and immediately they are paying the cash to the suppliers is nothing but what cash transactions okay so also we are so in our day to day's life we are making so many cash transactions okay so cash transactions means what goods purchased or good uh, or goods purchased or goods buying or services and immediately we are going to pay the cash to the suppliers is nothing but what cash transactions okay so now what in by credit transaction credit transaction means what we are purchasing goods and services but we are paying cash in a future date okay we are paying in a cash in a future date is nothing but what Ca credit transactions it means what immediately we are not paying the cash to the suppliers is nothing but what credit transactions okay so next capital so now see it is this is very very important in the business okay so in the accountancy this is very main concepts okay so now see the capital so now what in by capital capital means what it means that amount or assets which is invested in business by businessman or owner of business okay so now see capital means what when you are going to start a business what when we are when we are going to start a business at that time whatever we money invested okay while starting the business whatever the money is required or whatever the asset is required asset means whatever the material is required so is nothing but what capital for the business okay so while while starting a business and the owner of business going to invest some money is nothing but what capital okay so now x person is there and this x persons want to start a business okay so which type of business suppose 
manufacturing business you want to start a manufacturing business okay so before starting whatever the material is require whatever the money is requires okay and he whatever the requires they are giving or, or they are putting to start a business so it's nothing but what capital whatever they are going to put or whatever they are going to give the monies to start so it's nothing but what investment and investment is nothing but the capital while starting a business okay so this is about the capital so in the next slides assets okay so just see what is the assets assets are those items that have monetary value and owned by a business okay owned by a business okay so now see asset means what whatever the business having the property or the wealth of the business is nothing but what assets okay so assets means what whatever they having the property or the wealth is nothing but the assets for the business okay so now see there are two types of the assets and which are those two types fixed assets and the current assets okay so now see what in by fixed assets fixed asset means what the assets having with the business for the long time purpose okay for the long time purpose and this assets whatever the business having the assets and these assets are giving benefits for long term purpose okay for the long term purpose is nothing but what the fixed assets okay for example of the fixed asset is what machinery building land furniture okay and the furniture includes what table chairs okay so whatever the furniture is it will come under the fixed assets okay so machinery it's give it's working long time purpose it means working more than 5 years okay land it's a permanent okay building is also permanent okay furniture we take on the furnitures so we again use the furniture in long term purpose okay so it means what it is the fixed assets with the business okay so now see what in by current assets current asset means what which assets can be converted into cash within a one year is nothing but what current assets okay so whatever the business is having the assets so whatever the assets are there and that can be converted into money within a one year is nothing but what current assets for example the stock cash cash in hand okay cash at bank balance bills receivable or the debtors is nothing but what the these are the examples of the current assets okay so next liabilities so now see what in by liabilities liabilities are debts that a business has to pay at some time in the future date okay in the future or you can say future date is nothing but what the liabilities so liabilities means what it is the responsibility for the business it is an obligation to pay to the third parties is nothing but what liabilities okay so this is nothing but the liabilities so long term liabilities and the there are two types of the liabilities long term liabilities and the short term liabilities so now see what in by long term liabilities long term liability means what business has to pay to the third parties and whatever the payment is there so this payment want to pay after one year is nothing but what the long term liabilities and what in by short term liabilities whatever the payment is there they are making in a within a one year is nothing but what the short term liabilities okay so this is about the liabilities so next in the next slides what in by drawings okay so now see the drawings means what withdraw money or goods for personal use or domestic use for the owner is nothing but what the drawings okay so drawing means what the owner of the business okay what owner of the business or the proprietor of the business he is withdrawing money or the goods for from business from business for his personal use what for his a personal use is nothing but what's the drawings okay so x person is there and x persons having one business and the business name is what's xyz company okay so in this companies they got the 10000 rupees profit okay they got the 10000 rupees profit at the end of the year okay so out of the 10000 x person is withdrawing rupees 2000 okay withdrawing rupees 2000 and these 2000s they used for his personal use what is a personal use for the personal use means what to pay the college fees of his daughter or his sons okay or to give the gift for his uh, 
friend circles okay so the, it means what they are using the 2000 for his personal use okay from the business so at that time it's called what the drawings okay drawing means what the owner is withdrawing money or the cash or goods for from the business for his personal use is nothing but what's the drawings okay so next debtors okay so this is also very important concepts debtor means what debtors are persons and other entities to whom business has sold goods and services on credit and amount has not received at okay so it means what's the debtors okay so debtor means what's who owes money to the business is nothing but what debtors okay who owes money to the business is nothing but the debtors okay so for example the x sorry x person is there and the abc company is there okay abc company is there and the x person is there and the abc company sold goods to x person on credit basis what on credit basis okay so it means what x person has to pay to the abc company okay so it means what x is a debtors for the business okay x is a debtors for the abc company okay so this is the debtors okay so now see what in by creditors so creditors means what creditors is an entity or person from which business goods serve which business purchases goods and services on credit is nothing but what creditors okay so now see this is vice versa we have to take x person is there and the abc company is there okay and the abc company purchasing goods from x person the x is a supplier okay so abc company purchasing raw material from the x persons on credit basis okay on a credit basis so it means what x is a creditors for the business because business has to pay to the x person and the x is a creditors for the business okay so this is about the creditors in the next slides goods okay goods means what the products in which the business deal in the items that are purchased for the purpose of resale not for use in the business are called goods okay so goods means what the business is buying the goods for the resale is nothing but the goods and the goods having the physical existence okay goods having the physical existence which we can see which we can touch okay so it is nothing but the goods okay the business is purchasing goods for the resale is nothing but the goods and the goods can we can say the it is just like the commodities okay goods it is and the commodities okay so next purchases so you you know that purchases means what purchases means what the buying okay buy the goods and services nothing but the purchases okay so purchase is used only for the goods bought by a business for resale is nothing but the purchases okay there are two types of purchases cash purchases and the credit purchases credit cash purchases means what abc company is there and see they require the raw material okay while purchasing the raw material immediately they are paying the cash to the suppliers is nothing but the cash purchase and what do you mean by credit purchase credit purchase means what they are purchasing raw material from the suppliers and they are paying in future date is nothing but what what's credit purchases okay so these are the this is the credit purchase okay so like this so many basic terms or the basic terminology terminologies of the accounting are there okay so i hope this these are the whatever the tens i explain i hope you understand that okay if it is you not understand any one concepts you can contact me okay thank you